Hello friends. CJ told me he's gonna play while we film this video, so that's not gonna work. Come here, see. This video is so long overdue. Do you guys like my mug? Adam and I needed mugs. I kept getting them at the dollar store and they were just the worst size. They drip. I swear this is part of the video. We were driving back from Arizona and we stopped at one of those gas station slash gift shops. This one was huge. It's the border of Arizona and Nevada, I think. Are you my little co-star? Come sit with mommy. And we found these and we thought they were so adorable. It says Las Vegas. It's like a mocha. So I have like chocolate there, but Las Vegas up there. And I love it. I'm getting a few requests. Like we miss your old videos. You feel like long lost family and friends. So we want to know what you've been up to. So I have a list because let me tell you, I've traveled more since Adam has been home. And I'm not talking about going to see just family because I live across the country. Literally more in the past few years, but especially since like May of this year to now it's middle of October. No, it's not middle of October. It's almost the middle of November, girl. Uh, then I have like my whole lifetime. Adam and I were just talking about it the other day. I said, what's interesting is that in the visit room, we like dreamed about having kids and living life together outside. We never talked about traveling. It was just never on our radar. And we've been doing so much of it since he's been home. And especially now, since he's off of paper, he can go wherever he wants, whenever he wants freely without having to check in, ask somebody to get permission, which honestly, it didn't really inhibit us prior to him getting off of paper this past August, because I start my list of places we've been since May. And there's a whole bunch on this list. Let me see, eight. Well, a couple of future ones too. But the point is, it's been so fun. And I told him, I'm like, you know, we never really mentioned traveling, but we're, we've been doing so much traveling together. CJ's flown more and has more stamps on his passport than Adam has in 47 years. And I had like in my first, I don't know, 20 years of life. Very cool. So I have taken videos throughout. So here's how I think we'll do this. I'll explain to you where we went, what we went for, how it was. And then I'll fill in the video footage as I'm going through each one. Are you the star of the show? <laughs> to be honest, you guys, I went off of memory and I listed the stuff. I might have forgotten a few. So if I have, we'll go back in and we'll fill them in. But I'm pretty sure this is it because there would be times where Adam was away for work. He would fly back, let's say Thursday. And on Friday, we'd leave together to do one of these trips, get back. And then three days later, he would go on a work trip. He's been traveling a decent amount for work this past few months too. So that's why I'm thinking I forgot stuff. Back in May, Adam had to go out to Phoenix. We're a five hour drive from Phoenix. So he's like, let's just go together. We'll make it a long weekend. You and CJ can hang out while I go to whatever I have to do for work. And then, you know, we'll do like off work stuff, dinners, that kind of thing when he's off. So that was so much fun. We stayed in the Biltmore section of Phoenix. Side note, I had no idea my girlfriend Jojo worked at Cheesecake Factory in the Biltmore section. I knew she was in Phoenix. I knew she was at the Cheesecake Factory, but this trip was so much fun. This hotel was amazing. It was called, what was the hotel called? Embassy Suites, I believe. And there was a koi pond in the hotel. It was kind of like this atrium. It was beautiful. And Adam got a suite. So the front area of the room was like office, desk, couch, TV, chairs, a little sink. And there was a door and there was a huge king suite, huge windows, nice sized bathroom. They had just redone the bathroom. It was beautiful. But tell me when you're ready. Yeah. You're ready? Yeah. Are you hiding? Yeah. I'm going to be able to find you? Yeah. Okay. Christian? <laughs> Christian? Where are you? Oh my goodness. Are you back here? Are you under the table? Where are you? There you are. Oh, I couldn't find you. Do you want mommy to hide this time? Yeah. Okay, you go in that room. This place was so much fun because of the koi pond. So I didn't know this, but we stopped at the front desk when Adam had gone to work. I needed to ask them a question. They were like, does he want to feed the fish? And I'm like, he would love to feed the fish. I didn't know he could. They were like, yeah, you can come up to the front desk as often as you want. And they give you like little, it's bigger than a Dixie cup. Think of like the size of like uh, the little paper that you put under a cupcake you know, the cupcake liners, but it's not, it's thick. It's like a Dixie cup, but think of that size filled with fish food. And so you, I would bribe him. I'd be like, all right, we have to go out. And if you're a good boy, if you're a good boy, we'll feed the fish. And it works like a charm. So we did that a hundred times. They had this little selfie suite. It was like images of the fish, like, you know, and you could be in there. So cool. We had so, so much fun. Did you piss? Okay, you want to go back to our room? Press the Ellie. 
Way from home. Um, then Adam came and picked us up for lunch. We went to lunch with some people he was working with. Then Adam dropped us back off. Oh, that's your new toy? Yeah, Grandma got you these toys uh, yesterday, right? Bet. What's this? A uh, bet. Uh, fish? A uh, bet. Oh, it's a fish. Yeah, show the fish side. A uh, bet. It's a fish. Remember when we fed the fish at the hotel? Do you want to go back there? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It was fun. Yeah. Okay. So we did that, came back. CJ and I went for a walk. It's like outdoor mall area. Beautiful. That was that trip. It was so, so, so much fun. I'm going to need someone to send help because that was torture. Trying to film with him. He's adorable, but oh my God. Adam and his two closest in age cousins that grew up together and like their wives, kids, families, like some spouses, parents, like a whole bunch of us. I think there were 13 of us stayed in the Airbnb. So fun. the july 4th party which was awesome but cj we left the day after his birthday so his grandma adam's mom threw him the most adorable little birthday party with his cousins so we whoops whoops got your glasses yeah uh, on your oh on your eyes or on your head uh, eyes okay cool dude ready oh, for his party yeah <gasps> what's this Wow! Uh, no, we, we want to leave it up there, huh? Balloons! Balloons! Is this so exciting? Oh, hmm. What you doing? That, that was so much fun. That flight was torture with CJ. I think I might do a whole separate video of like my tips on flying with a toddler. Most of you guys who are watching this episode are moms and you already know what to do. But for people who don't, because like I said, we've had to have done at least 20 flights by now between going, coming, layovers, and every flight is so different. And I've kind of like mastered what to do. And I have like the best piece of advice that nobody's ever said because I watched YouTube videos on like what to do and nobody said this. Nobody said this and I can't believe it. So we'll make that video. But anyway, we had to do a 3.30 a.m. wake up that day. CJ got up really excited. He's obsessed with airplanes and airports. I can't say it because he'll want to go. He was so excited. He got in the Uber. He was like looking around, didn't fall back asleep, did the whole first two hour flight. He loved it because we flew Southwest. At this point, he wasn't two yet. So on the way there, he didn't have his seat, but the flight wasn't full. So he actually did, he didn't have a ticket for a seat, but he did wind up getting his own seat. That first flight, two hours, did not sleep. Layover, we go to eat something really quick. He sleeps for 10 minutes, which is almost worse than not napping. Moms, let me know in the comments, usually, sometimes. Gets up, cranky, gets on the flight, cries. You guys, not just a cry, a blood curdling, overtired, nothing on this planet will calm him down not mom, not snacks, not toys, not other people trying to help, not flight attendants, not other kids, not the iPad, nothing. Two hours, blood curdling screams until he crashed because he just needed to sleep on my lap for the last five minutes of this two hour flight that Adam and I were joking, like Southwest is not gonna let him fly again. If he's not banned for life, he'll be banned until he's 18 and we'll probably be banned with him. Kidding, but it happened. But then we've had flights since where he has been a perfect angel. I think that was the last time that he had a really bad flight. The little man is in the back sleeping. I cannot touch my phone because I just tried this. Shh, made a mess. But he hit slow-mo by accident. And I don't even know if I can fix that in editing because I don't know if it's, if it's so slow-mo that it does like every four seconds or something like that. Regardless, we're going to do this again. We wound up having to go back to Phoenix couple weeks later. Now in my head, it was a couple weeks later. I, it had to be more like late August, 
early September, I'll look at my camera roll and I'll insert footage. The reason I say that is because we went to Flagstaff. So we drove to Flagstaff, which is four hours. And then it's like, I don't know, a couple hours from Phoenix, I think it's, it's not too far, but close enough to drive, but like we couldn't drive it both in one day it's because it's five hours again, to five and a half hours to one or five hours to the other, but there, you know what I mean? We went to Flagstaff and it was freezing when we got there. I'm talking like low fifties. Meanwhile, Phoenix is 115 degrees. So we're joking, texting the um, people from parole and probation that we actually became friendly with, great girls, that actually followed us on YouTube before Adam came home. And they were so cute because Janelle's like, oh my God, the day that Ro said on YouTube, Adam is getting out, I called my best friend because we both followed you guys. And we were like, oh my God, Adam's getting out. And she's like, Rose Adam. So now that they work together, it's like this cool full circle moment. Janelle works in... I believe in Phoenix and her best friend on Halise works in Flagstaff. So Janelle was up in Flagstaff that day. We went up there so Adam could do, I guess, parole and probation, the jail, something like that there. We're, we're joking. Like we were in winter and then mid summer, 115 degrees, like 24 hours apart, teasing them. The cool part about that trip up in Flagstaff was Janelle told us about this really cool park up there. CJ loved it. The best part about that park was there was this little like jungle gym it was made to look like a fire truck. And he is obsessed with fire trucks. He was even a fireman for Halloween this year. He's obsessed with fire firemen and garbage men, more so garbage men at the moment, but like what a garbage men wear, you know, like how would I dress them up? Beautiful for me because it was very reminiscent of late Late August, early September in New Jersey, where it's still summer, but it's like a little bit cool, but the leaves are really lush. They haven't started changing yet. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was fun. Drove down to Phoenix. And then this time, because I had texted JoJo prior, I'm like, how far are you from the Biltmore section? She's like, that's where I work. I work at the Cheesecake Factory there, like literally 0.1 miles from my hotel. She was able to walk from Cheesecake Factory that I passed. And I'm like, I wonder if my friend Jojo works there, was able to walk to the hotel. So we met up with Jojo that time. That was one of the highlights of, well, that was the highlight of the Phoenix part of the trip. Did the pool for like 25 minutes and then we headed home from there. Say bye bye. Yeah. Oh, you're so hungry. Okay, I'll see you next time. We can go swimming next time. Yeah. You're so oh, this isn't trying to do the best video. Can you say it? Can you say I love you? Thank you. Love you. Mm, yeah. yeah. That was the Phoenix trip. And then the next trip that we did was, well, I did alone was New Jersey for my sister's bridal shower. And what I thought was really funny about this is like leading up to it, I started as a joke where I was telling Adam, like, I should just go by myself because you can get a taste of what it's like to be with him by yourself for days at a time. But I was only joking and I partly was doing it like to save money on tickets. Like, but then it wound up, he's like, actually, like, I think that's a really good idea. So I flew overnight on Friday, got there early Saturday morning, like eight o'clock Saturday morning, wound up sleeping most of the day because I decided to fly Spirit, which you guys, 
They don't call it the Greyhound of the Sky or my sister says Tilapia of the Sky for no reason. It's the worst. And every time I fly Spirit, I'm like, never again. Because in the moment when I'm booking the ticket, it's so affordable compared to everybody else. But at the end of the day, they nickel and dime you. So it winds up costing more in the long run. Case in point, I was in so much pain trying to sleep on this flight going out there because I'm like, oh, I'll just sleep on the flight. I'll sleep through the pain. I was waking up every five or 10 minutes because I had the like, kinks in my neck. I was like dropping over because I'm in the middle seat waking up. I was in so much pain that I wound up purchasing a seat. I still, even though with all that extra leg room, it was my neck. I could not sleep. So it wasn't worth it. But anyway, so I get to New Jersey and I sleep most of Saturday, go to dinner with my sister and my sister-in-law. They were so cute. They gave me a birthday cake, even though my birthday is in July, end of July. This was like early, mid-August. Next morning was the shower. It was to die for beautiful. My sister that got married always wanted a lemon themed shower when she saw like this um, dessert table set up with all lemons. It was beautiful. The wedding was in Italy in Tuscany. So my sisters and my sister-in-law, when we decided to set up the shower, we went with like a Tuscan to bring in the Italy lemon theme. And there's so much stuff out there. There's actually so many inspiration stuff on Pinterest with this theme. We were coming up with all these puns, like he's her main squeeze. Uh, let me tell you about my best friend was what I did for the newlywed game. There were so many, but this shower was to die for. My oldest sister, Christina, really should have been a party planner. She is incredible. She does not miss a beat, like literally down to every single detail. And she does it so affordably. I don't know how she does it. She's like, I just do it for a hobby. Like if I did it for work, I wouldn't enjoy it. I'm like, that's bullshit. That's what I used to tell myself about fitness. And I regret it every single day because you can enjoy what you do. Isn't that sad? Like back in the day, my parents' generation taught us you have to work hard and you have to hate it and you have to suffer and blah, 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 blah. It's so different now. Regardless, she doesn't want to do it as a party planner, but she did a great job. Did not miss a beat. CJ had a rough time. In fact, we both had a rough time. This was the very first time I left him, leaving him on Friday night at the airport, like I'm saying goodbye to him and he's starting to cry and I'm starting to cry and Adam's like, you just have to go, like rip off the band-aid, walk away, get through security. I was the only person at security. It was like maybe 10 minutes. I got a call from him. He's like, he's freaking out. I don't know what to do. I tried to talk to him, calm him down. He's like, let me get him in the house, gets him in the house, calls me back. And he's like, literally, I'm afraid a neighbor's gonna call the police. He's screaming bloody murder. I can't get him to stop. So I was like, you might have to put him in the car. I think if you put him in the car, you're just gonna have to like drive until he falls asleep with the motion and you know, the car seat, all that. He does that, our gritty little baby, the apple did not fall far from the trees. And an hour and a half later, he finally gets him to fall asleep. Me and Adam's distracting him with the park. They go for ice cream. But bedtime was torture every night torture. Only had to get through Sunday night. I'm flying Monday. My flight keeps getting delayed after delayed after delayed because of storms. Like literally I was grateful that my flight was like having a great time because my flight's the only one that's not getting canceled. San Juan's getting canceled. This one's getting canceled. That one's getting canceled. Thank God the Vegas flight was delayed by like three hours, but I'm, I'm like, as long as I make it home, I don't care. I still have to go to work the next day. I don't have my work computer with me. I needed to get back. I get back around two, three in the morning and baby was wide awake waiting for mommy. It was so sweet. We, that was the Jersey trip. It was great. It was beautiful. Loved my dress. Got it from Shein. So good. Got so many compliments on that. Like my sister's friend who works for Gucci was, oh no, she works for Chanel. Used to work for Gucci. She's like, you need to send me the link to that dress because I need it. It's from Shein. And I was like, it's from Shein. She goes, oh my God, I would have swore it was like Bloomingdale's. They sent her the link sitting at the party. It was that good. If you want the dress, I'll put it, I'll link it below. What's was phenomenal. CJ did amazing on the flights. We did an overnight 10 hour flight to Amsterdam. He played with his stuff. You know, we, I think the flight was at like six or seven at night. So a couple hours of just like playing, we were fed, all that stuff. Then we all slept, got to Amsterdam, 
Go get your slippers. You want to show everyone your slippers? Me. Go. Early in the morning, had like a three hour layover, got some coffee. Nice. He was great. And then we did the two hours to Pisa. He was also amazing on that flight. No issues. Once we land in Pisa, we discover they lost two of our three bags of our luggage. And one of the bags was everything that we had. Dramatic. But it is dramatic. Everything we had for the wedding. My makeup. Clothes, shoes, you name it, was not with us. So that was drama. We did a whole episode recapping that on credibility. We were there for five days prior to the wedding festivities, 10 days total. So for those five days, we stayed at an Airbnb. Let me rewind. There was a lot of drama when we got there, not just our suitcase. It was the first night was like one thing after another that there was points where I wanted to pull over on the side of the road and cry. But again, that's all in that credibility episode. So I'll link it because it's just too much to talk about here. But after that, we were just like, let's just pick places we want to go. We knew we wanted to stay in Tuscany. We didn't go down to this trip. We didn't go down to Rome. We didn't go up to Milan because it was three hours and it was fashion week. So we just thought it was going to be too much. Hello, my friends, editing row here. So this video is taking ages. For me to edit, here's what happened. I have all the pictures and videos in my camera roll on my phone. My camera roll will automatically upload to Google Photos and then delete them off of my Apple camera roll. So I have to go into Google Photos find the pictures, organize them by the city we were in, download them, and then pull them into the video. And it just takes a really long time. I think what I'm gonna do is cut out the Italy part and then do that in its own separate video, which I think would be fun. It'll shorten this one, make it easier to watch. And it's just taking forever. I still have um, a Thanksgiving vlog, vlog that I want to post. I have stuff from an event we did with fam. And then I have a couple of other uh, videos that I want to sit down and talk to you guys about. And those will never happen if this one's still waiting. Cause I'm like, how do I post summer stuff in December oh, no. after that other stuff? You know what I mean? But oh, anyway, no. tech issues. So we'll be back. I love, love, love you guys. Let me know. Oh, no. Video. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do? Uh, oh, no. You made a little hole. In the screen door and then he i'm not freaking out because the hole's been there forever it's not like he just made a hole in the door and i'm like oh you just made a hole in the screen of the door no big deal it's been there and then he pushed his little toy through so we're gonna go get that and we're gonna say goodbye say i love you friends i love you friends I'll say, oh, bye. bye see you next time bye time do a thumbs up that's your thumbs up yeah love it can you do a smile good job oh you're good oh smiling with your eyes open yeah. Good job. Okay. Bye, friends. Bye, bye. Love you. Love you. Mwah.